Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the back strap or your P365 X macro. Before we get started, I'd like to ask everybody to please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Now we got that out of the way, let's get on with the video. Before I tell you what you need to remove this pin from the back strap of your X macro, some of the pins come out way easier than others. I'm just going to show you what you need for the more stubborn pins. Uh, again, if you have a pin that's super easy, then all you you gotta do is just push the pin out with the three millimeter punch by hand. I'm just gonna show you how to do it in case, let's say your pin is a lot more stubborn. So if that is the case, you're gonna need a roll of painter's tape, a three millimeter punch, and a armorer's hammer. I also called SIG and I asked them if there's any certain direction that you need to follow as far as removing and reinstalling the pin as far as removing it from right to left or left to right. SIG said it doesn't matter which way you remove it or reinstall the pin. As you can see here, I just have the grip module for the P365X macro and the slide is not attached. So I've already field stripped my P365X macro. If you need help getting to this part right here, click on the link at the top right hand corner. That'll take you to another video showing you how to field strip your P365X macro. Once you've gotten to this part, come back to this video and then follow along. So now that we know that there's no particular direction as far as removing the pin and reinstalling the pin, we could just remove the pin any way we like. So I'm gonna remove the pin this way from left to right. When you take your grip module, you're gonna place it over the painter's tape like this. And you're gonna make sure that the pin is off the edge of the painter's tape, okay? Just like that. And then you're gonna take your three millimeter punch and you're gonna place it right over the pin just like that. Once it's over the pin, you're gonna take these three fingers and you're gonna place it over the grip module like this. And then you're gonna take these two fingers and you're gonna hold the punch with these two fingers. So it's gonna look something like this. All right, so that's how you're gonna hold it. Now keep in mind or I told you that you're gonna place the punch right over the pin. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that when you're placing the punch over the pin, that the punch isn't like slightly on the uh, circle around the pin. Because if you do that, you're gonna mar up the back strap. So again, you wanna make sure that the punch is on the pin directly, like completely on the pin and not on the circle around it. Okay, so that's important. So it's gonna look something like this. Taking my three fingers, bracing myself on the uh, grip module. I got the punch onto the pin. So how we're gonna tap out the pin is take our armor's hammer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap it two times and then hit with a harder strike. So it's gonna look something like this. And you can see the pin just dropped out. So we're good. Now we can remove the punch from the grip module and set that aside. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna place it on the back strap and you're gonna pull the back strap downward and it slides right off. And there you go, you have your back strap off. At this point, you would decide what back strap you want to replace the original back strap. So originally, this pistol came with the medium, so I replaced it for the large. So I'm gonna keep the large on there. What you would do is you would basically put the new strap on there. And this is just my recommendation. Before putting the pin back in, I would just basically put the strap on, see how it feels in your hand, see if you like it, and then put the pin back in if you like it. If you don't, then at least this way you don't have to take the pin out again to swap to another back strap. So this way it saves you some time from adding and removing the pin over and over again. So in order to put the new back strap onto the grip module, there's gonna be this T-shape right here, right? So there's the male side T-shape, and then here is the female side T-shape. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take the female T-shape, and you're gonna slide it onto the male T-shape, just like that. You're just gonna push the back strap upward all the way up until it can't slide up anymore. Now you know it's fully installed. The other way that you know it's fully installed is just by looking at the circle right here. You can see that that circle makes a complete circle shape. 
with no obstructions. If you slide this down slightly, see how this circle isn't a full circle. There's something there blocking it. That's how you know that the back strap is not fully installed. And also here you can tell that this piece is sticking out a little bit further than the grip module. So you want to make sure that you push the back strap all the way up as far as possible. And you want to make sure that you get a full clear circle right here. Once you see the perfect circle, now we can reinstall the pin. Again, there's no direction as far as uh, adding the pin from left to right or right to left. Also, same thing with the pin. The pin can be installed in on any side, so this side or this side, it doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the pin started with our hands and then we'll finish the install. The one thing I like to do when I'm installing the pin is make sure that I'm installing it level. Make sure you're not installing the pin on an angle in either direction. You wanna make sure that it's level, just like this. Now that we have the pin mostly pushed in, um, it gets a little bit harder to push it all the way with your fingers. So you could do one of two things. You could take your punch and your armor's hammer. You could start tapping this pin the rest of the way in, or, this is something I like to do. I like to take my magazine, and if you don't want to scratch up your magazine, you take a like soft towel and you fold it a few times and basically lay it over the magazine just like this. Take your grip and then put the pin against the rag where the rag is against the magazine just like this. And I like to push it in as far as I can. So there you go. So now you can see that the pin is almost fully installed. At this point, what I do is I take my punch and I tap the pin in the rest of the way. So same thing like when we were taking it out, when we're tapping it back in, you wanna make sure that your punch is directly on. You don't wanna be halfway on the pin in any direction. You wanna make sure that the punch is directly on the pin, just like that. So now I'm gonna tap the pin the rest of the way in. I'm gonna put the grip onto the painter's tape like I did before. Make sure that the uh, punch is on the pin properly. Also, take these three fingers and I'm gonna brace the grip module while I hold the punch. Now I made sure that the punch is directly onto the pin. I take my armor's hammer and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna tap the pin in, okay? Felt it go in. Uh, I can go in a little bit further. Making sure I'm directly on the pin again. So how you'll know that the pin is installed correctly is that the pin is not sticking out on this side and it's also not sticking out too far on this side. So now you know that the pin is installed properly. So there you go. You have successfully swapped out the back strap of your P365X macro. If you thought the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. And while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.